Now that we've got our walls in, it's really easy to um, start to edit the, the use of these permanent dimensions and temporary dimensions. Whatever is easiest is best. There's no right or wrong. What is important to remember when you're editing the position of these walls is that you need to start with one wall and then select the next one. So you get the first one right, get it in position, and then you select the next one and you move from one side of the page to the other. Otherwise you'll end up having a little tug of war with the, with the um, dimensions. So we've got this one correct and we've got that correct using the, uh, the temporary dimensions. If I click on this first wall, I can see that it is 2785. Okay, so I was fairly close. However, if you found that it zipped and it, it copied over the top of that or the two then merge, just click one of them and move them out the way. You can be fairly robust with these things. So this one's good, 2785. I'm going to deselect it by hitting escape or clicking off it. And I'm going to select the next one to the right of it and 575. Okay, so you can see when I click the wall, that the dimension itself becomes activated. And I know that because these two dimensions, both of which are pertaining to that wall, have gone blue and therefore are able to be edited. So now I'm going to click on the last one, which is 2510. And then I'll click on the nib. And the only way you can edit this, both of those were available to be edited using temporary or permanent dimensions. However, the nib is much easier to control using permanent dimensions. Remember, permanent are the ones that are here and I can see and can stay. Temporary are the ones that when I click, and they're not going to appear for me now, they're there, that they go away as soon as I've deselected. So I click on my nib, this extended piece of wall here, and I know that that is 700 millimetres long. Right. Sometimes those temporary dimensions look like you've typed in 700, but it's actually dimensioning back to the centre of the wall, not the face of the wall. And all of my internal walls are now in position.